Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, our second session of our webinar series. Uh, my name is uh, Marcus Florian, and I'm based at an ocean in Munich. I just um, briefly switch off on my camera just to show you who I am. And here, this is me, this is Marcus. I'm based in uh, Oberhaching near Munich in the headquarters of an ocean and I run the sales team. I switch off now my camera again so that we have uh, better bandwidth for a better audio experience. And um, as mentioned, so thank you for joining this call. This is the second part of our webinar series. About two weeks ago, we started this webinar series in, in talking about uh, the energy harvesting principles. And today, today we dive deep into our one of our main products, is, which is the PTM. Uh, PTM is the heart of the switch. So this is the original PTM switch module for wireless uh, energy harvesting switches. Um, I give uh, a short introduction uh, to our company for those who don't know us. And then, of course, I will hand over to my colleague, uh, Marian Hönsch, who is uh, part of the product marketing team. And then he will guide you into more details about our PTM product family. An ocean for those who don't know us. So we are the leader in self-powered IoT solutions. And of course, uh, we deliver components and modules and also finished products, uh, which are based on energy harvesting using various standardized wireless protocols. And of course, we deliver solutions using uh, the Notion protocol in the sub gigahertz range. In that case, we offer three variations for a wider range, a longer range. Then we also support uh, Zigbee, the Zigbee protocol. And then most recently, uh, some years ago, we added also the support for Bluetooth low energy. We are active in the market since nearly 20 years and have shipped a double digit uh, quantity, double digit million quantity into the market. And the product and solutions are used in over 1 million buildings worldwide. And those buildings are ranging from small private homes uh, and go up to big office installations or even hospitals where our technology is being used. Our sales team is active worldwide. So as mentioned, we are based in uh, Germany, but of course we have a, a team around Europe. We do also have a team in North America, and then we also have a princess in, in Far East. Uh, the activities we are running and uh, the technology we're supplying are based on a very strong patent portfolio, which is uh, giving us a worldwide coverage. And, um, and this is why we uh, do our solutions. Before we start, I um, wanted to uh, give you um, a short uh, question about um, the, 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 if you are familiar with our uh, products and solutions. And, um, and we will give you a brief questionnaire where we would like to understand how familiar you are with uh, our technology. So the question here it is, uh, how familiar are you with the PTM? And we give you four choices. Um, the first choice is yes, I have already worked with it. Um, the other choice might be uh, yes, uh, I've tested some samples. Um, you may also have uh, the question or the disposition. Yes, I have a basic understanding. I've heard about it. And uh, the fourth option is um, no, I'm not familiar with it at all. And this is actually then a very good opportunity with this webinar to get introduced and uh, have an overview. And then hopefully we could uh, then um, inspire you to be using uh, the PTM in one of your next projects or even your design. So we will give uh, a couple of uh, more seconds for you to make a choice, uh, to do a selection of one of those four options. And then, of course, at the end of this survey, we will also show you the results so that we have, uh, you all have an understanding about uh, how familiar the audience is with our technology. So just a few more seconds, just to your vote, just choose one of those four options. And uh, then maybe, yeah, two or three more seconds. I see that there are still some people doing their votes. And um, yeah, in two, three, one, we close. And then 
we show you the results. So it's actually a very good mix. Uh, there's people who are very familiar with it. Uh, some have a basic understanding and there is also 20% which are not familiar at all. And again, this is um, the opportunity for you to get introduced. And actually what I'm doing now, handing over to my colleague, Marian Hönsch, who will guide you through the details of our PTM product family. Over to you, Marian. Thank you, Marcos, for the introduction. My name is Marian. I also work with Marcos uh, from uh, an ocean, Oberhaching. Hi, this is me. Also, you can see shortly my face and uh, who is presenting to you. So I will uh, go directly to the topic. So here is the agenda. We have divided the presentation in two parts. Uh, one is uh, the basics of every PTM, where we will cover questions for those which are for those of you which are not familiar with our PTM switch. We will work uh, on questions like how does it work, how work, uh, how does it look inside, which PTM I have to choose, and then we have in the second part uh, an agenda item which covers our updates on the PTM switch in the Enocean Radio standard. We will do a briefly update on what is uh, updated and how the NFC interface will work on uh, the uh, usability of the switch. And at the end, we will have a classical questionnaires and answers. So please feel free to put in questions also during my talk. So before we start, I would just to make everybody comfortable and sure we know what we are talking about because many of you heard about the an ocean switch or an ocean radio switch. And uh, if you are a customer or an end user, you most uh, likely see only the end product, which is inside with uh, plastic frames. You can see on the one wall switch on the upper part uh, in complete plastics with two rockers. You can see uh, one of our most popular products, which is the Philips uh, switch, uh, which is used in a hue tap, sold in Apple stores. Uh, but what we are talking really today is the heart of the switch. And this means we are not talking about the designs uh, as a major topic. We are talking about the heart, uh, which is inside each of that products. And this is the Enocean product PTM. You can see it highlighted in the proper heart color in red. So this is the PTM switch we will talk today. So it's uh, in, the, in, in its final form as an application, it's uh, surrounded by plastics and it gives uh, lots of benefits and advantages to a normal classical switch. First of all, it does not use any batteries. So it works with the energy harvesting principle. Uh, we have covered that in the previous uh, webinar. Secondly, it has uh, no buyers. It works via radio. So you don't have to put any cables to that switch. You can put it anywhere in the room or on your table or anywhere you like to have it. And it will work from there. So this is also a quite green aspect, not to use batteries, not to change batteries, and also not to use any cables and wires because you have copper and plastics there, which is also negative for the CO2 uh, bilance. And the point which we mentioned already is the various multi usable frames. That means that this universal heart of the switch can be put into any plastics, uh, which follow the design instructions. And later we will show also different uh, examples of how the plastics uh, can uh, look like. Of course, the PTM <coughs> is used also outside the building, but uh, our most uh, usable market is uh, the building automatization market where it works as a light switch. So uh, the very basics of each PTM switch uh, is the radio and the energy generation. So for those of you who already had a PTM switch in their hands, it's quite obvious. For those who don't, I would like to introduce you the energy bow. So the energy bow, it's highlighted red. Uh, this is basically the, the actuation of uh, the PTM. So you can press it and an inside spring will release it. By pressing the energy bow, you will trigger the energy harvester. 
and then the whole process will start. So the energy gets generated, the signals get read out and the radio signal is transmitted. This happens very quick. And when you release the switch, then an inside spring will do that uh, all again for you. So by pressing and releasing, you will both send out a radio telegram. This enables uh, applications which is also beyond a simple light switching. So you can do dimming or uh, controlling shutter, uh, shutters, basically anything which is connected with some uh, time periods. The signal itself is coded via the four nibbles. They are highlighted green on the right side. They are basically uh, telling the receiver what to do. So the PTM switch is not transmitting the signal, turn on off light or move the blinds and so on. No, it transmits the position or the actuation of the nimbles and the receiver can interpret this signal as lights on or shutters down or whatever the receiver is doing. The nibbles are divided into A and B channel. In the previous pictures, you could see two rocker applications. So there is an A rocker and a B rocker and position zero or one. Yeah. In the Philips Hue tab, you could see that this association is uh, used differently, but still uh, the four nibbles are operated. These four nibbles can be pressed individually uh, or combined, but they are all the information on which nibble is pressed is basically included inside the radio transmission. So every PTM uh, has uh, different use cases. As already mentioned, the most usable are where you need to turn on off something, but our PTM switches are used also outside the building, but uh, inside the building, it's mostly lightning, shutters, uh, fan control, ventilations, anything which needs to be on off. So machines, uh, equipment uh, or uh, wall plugs. And the switches, uh, the Notion switches give a big advantage compared to others. So we don't use any batteries. We don't need to put any batteries and you don't need to change those batteries. So it's maintenance free and it's easy to install. So you don't need to put in any wires to the switch. Of course, you need to put some wires to the light, but <laughs> you can save yourself the wires to the switch and you can put the switch anywhere inside the building where you like to have it. From the inside principle, uh, there is some patented approach and also components, as Marcus mentioned, as the PTM is the heart of every switch, uh, the echo generator is the heart of each PTM. You can see a picture of uh, the echo switch on the right upper side. So this is the energy harvester by activating it, uh, uh, you will generate the energy, then goes the energy to the converter and the energy management will stretch out the signal because the actuation is very short, but the transmission is longer. So there are some processes going on internally and then the microcontroller takes over, reads out the nibbles and sends out a message. And on the bottom part, you can see uh, how the echo is connected to the PTM mechanism. So there is a spring and there is this uh, level pushing it. And one of our customers did a very nice video showing the inside principle, how the echo is stacked up. It's not 100% correct. So for first of all, the switches are all white, not black, but you can see here how the stacking works. Uh, once you actuate the energy bow, the energy is generated. There is no lightning inside. So just to make sure it's uh, just visualization. So all the energy is generated electromagnetically. There is no lightning inside, but it shows the moment when the energy gets generated. So, and the stacking includes the PCB, uh, some plastic math, and this is uh, then the whole magic behind our switches. And what we done uh, in the last uh, product updates, uh, we added next to the radio interface, also an NFC interface for configurations, but we will cover on that later. So there are more than one, there is one, more than one PTM, sorry. So there is more than one PTM uh, on the market available. 
uh, they are differentiating in different uh, radio standards but there the principle of a ptm is reusable everywhere in the same manner this is also represented by the energy logo battery free by an ocean so this shows you that uh, and really an ocean product without batteries was used and you can be sure that this is uh, completely without batteries so this is mostly used with the ptms so the ptm is the heart of these applications then follows a three digit numbers representing the series or the addition of the product and afterwards comes a letter uh, which shows the frequency or the standard which have we have used so for the an ocean radio standard we have three uh, frequencies one for the european market is without letter so if you see only the ptm for example ptm to 15 then you know it's for an ocean and we have one module for the bluetooth market also with nfc and one module for the sigby market if you would look from the outside they all look the same this is the versatile approach and this follow, uh, brings me to the next slide since they all look the same they can also reuse the plastics or the switch frames all around the world so everybody can do his own stacking and plastics so if you are an OEM, you can uh, download the design instructions and uh, the manuals for that. If you are a customer, you can choose one of the many plastic designs around the world. And this is very important to address the exact customer and market requirements all around the world, so, uh, where you can see different switch designs uh, from Europe, uh, from uh, yeah, from Japan, or from North America, and this also shows the different requirements which they are uh, for a lightning uh, switching application. So, if you travel around the world, you will see that the switches in Europe, in UK, and Japan, they really do look different. But the an ocean approach of a universal PTM module can address all of that. So you can do your own plastic design uh, uh, with colors, with uh, actuation uh, uh, movement, and so on, uh, based on your uh, requirements. And all of uh, the PTM switches from an ocean have also encryption on board. So one is against reading out signals so nobody can just stand next to your home and reading out signals this is of course uh, limited by the range of the radio itself so the data are encrypted and we have also protection against uh, replay attacks so nobody can just listen to the signal record it and replay it uh, later so he cannot say okay i record the signal for opening a garage and then transmit it later when nobody is at home so this mechanism is implemented in all ptms uh, from an ocean this brings me uh, to the next part of the agenda uh, moving on to the NFC part and I would like to also do a short uh, pool with you which goes about uh, how important is NFC commissioning for you uh, consider uh, NFC for the switches and also other applications the options are it's a must-have you think every device needs to have it it's a nice to have you might use it or you don't need it so please uh, answer uh, based on your preference so nfc was added to not just to the ptm but it was added also to the multi-sensor and uh, the peer which we introduced to the market it's also part of the bluetooth uh, versions of this product and uh, we believe that the nfc interface will allow configurations on the devices in a better way than it was executed before so I give you a couple of more seconds to uh, configure uh, and uh, answer to the questions. So an ocean will plan to add uh, NFC interfaces also to other products in the future. And we have also an app uh, called an ocean tool, but we will come to that later. So then I would say three, two, one. We can 
close and show the results. You should see it now. So it's, uh, I see the NFC feature is quite new. Uh, some of you have worked with it uh, and see there's a must have. Uh, I interpreted that uh, nice to have is, uh, can be seen as uh, I have to check it out and I don't need it. I respect that also. So then let's get to the point why an PTM does uh, need an NFC interface. So basically it's, uh, it can be used uh, for different tasks and we have published and wild a uh, white uh, label, uh, white paper about uh, what you can do with the NFC interface. But in particular, it's important for a PTM switch in uh, during onboarding and configuration of the PTM switch. Uh, without an NFC, uh, for those who worked with uh, the PTM switches, you know, you have to just press it and uh, do the binding that you press the button on the receiver and you press the button of the on the transmitter or you scan the QR code. So this changes with the NFC interface where you can scan it. You have the, all the informations available on the device and you can even forward this device since they are in your phone to the receiver. So this is a common principle inside smart homes. Uh, inside uh, commercial buildings, it might work more on the pre-configuration part that you do the association and the onboarding inside the factory and ship it already configured. But NFC gives you a great uh, tool to better track and control the devices. Particular on the PTM switch, you can change the product ID. The product ID is a definition from the Notion Alliance and it reflects basically the final product. As you have seen, there are lots of different combinations of even one plastics. There can be different graphicons. These are these, uh, uh, these arrows or these signs or even labels on the uh, switch, the color, the count of the rockers. So basically the product ID represents the very final stage of the product and you can code it inside the PTM module because this makes the universal PTM module specific for your applications and this can be then read out what the application is. And also a very nice feature is uh, to be able to leave a message inside uh, the, uh, the switch itself. So you can write there a free text form and this can be used for example in this pre-configuration scenario. So inside the factory or inside your storage, you write a message to the switch and to the light. And once it arrives on the construction site, the construction worker can read out the information from that devices, which tells him where to put the devices inside the building. So for example, it can say uh, light and switch for the kitchen. And then the installer has very direct uh, in instructions where to put uh, those devices and uh, there are less uh, issues and uh, bugs for the installation. One important point I would like to mention in regards of the Enotion Alliance switch is that uh, our security mechanism got even updated. So uh, we are transmitting the rolling code now inside the radio telegram. This means there will uh, the receiver and the transmitter will be never out of synchronization. So there is no issues with that anymore. And we also allow to change the IES key. That means you can enter your own IES key via the NFC interface and uh, not use the Notion generated one. This makes it much more secure and interesting if you are addressing uh, specific projects. And since there are also uh, more modes and uh, features to be added, we also introduced some uh, factory reset, which you can trigger by uh, the mechanical interface. And this brings me to the end of our uh, webinar. So an ocean tool is the last topic. As mentioned, this is uh, made by an ocean GmbH for installers and is for free in uh, Apple and Android stores. 
you can scan the QR codes or go to the link which goes to the Enotion homepage and then go to the store. You can find there also a video on how to use uh, Enotion tool and is basically for all uh, devices with NFC. So for the switch, for the multi-sensor and the peer. For the time being, it's uh, only for the sub gigahertz versions. We are very keen to update it later also to the BLE products. Uh, and uh, it was released uh, one month ago. So we are already working on a small update. Uh, if you uh, want to know more about an ocean tool, please let us know or contact me directly. So Marcus and my credentials will be at the end of the presentation. Uh, just to, important to mention is if you now go to the App Store and download this app, uh, you need to have at least uh, one of these NFC enabled devices with you. Otherwise, you will not go past the introduction screen. So if you want to see more screenshots, look into App Store or uh, look at the video, which is available on the Notion page. I prepared for you the screens which you will see when you uh, when you scan an PTM device. So you can see here that the, the app is divided into settings and installation. And in settings, you can configure the security level, you can control the behavior of the te learn telegram. And in the middle screen, you can see there you can leave some message behind. I just put some digits in, but it's really free form. You can enter any text you like. And at the end, if you made one switch, you can use it uh, to clone settings to others. So please go on and also try out an ocean tool. Uh, you can contact us, uh, contact us for samples with NFC. And this brings me to the last part of our webinar, which are questions. And I would be happy to answer those. Uh, just let me see, okay. One question is, is NFC a must have for commissioning? So this is not true. So you can use also uh, the classical interface to work on uh, the uh, installation of the PTM switches. So an NFC app is not a must have. Of course, you cannot say, set the uh, the IES key inside uh, the, uh, the, the PTM switch, but uh, just to make it operational, you don't need this NFC app. Okay, another question was uh, also to the NFC app, how to develop an own NFC app. Uh, so we also consider that, uh, so you can add uh, the specific controls uh, needed into your app. So you are not forced to use an ocean tool. We are happy to share also the source code for that. Uh, if you want to develop your own applications, all the specifications are available in the internet, uh, in the product uh, category. So it will be updated also for the PTM in the next weeks, but uh, basically uh, it's uh, already there. So uh, I will try to cover a few more questions uh, for those which we cannot cover, please give us time and we will try to come back to you on uh, the uh, via email or you can on the contact simply us. Uh, so let me see. So can I use the NFC interface in the PTM to trigger something on my smartphone? Um, this is not possible. So you uh, will communicate with the NFC interface uh, via a mailbox so you can write. Uh, to the to the NFC switch and you can read out. So uh, what the only thing you can trigger on your smartphone is uh, you can start a specific app when you scan a specific NFC device. You can say, okay, I want to start this uh, application. So. Da, da, da. So uh, 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 there is a question about multi-sensor. We will forward that to uh, our other partners. So do you, a question, do you see a use case of RFID 
SS8 for the, uh, asset management is also not connected to the PTM switches. Of course, asset management is a quite important uh, topic for us, but this is more solar based. So any plans with other system apart from Zigbee and BLE uh, for the PTM switches? This is a good question. So we are we started with the Enocean radio standard, and for those who are with us for several years, know that we added Zigbee and later BLE. And we are uh, absolutely open to use also other radio standards. Uh, the question is more or less, is it executable with the energy uh, provided by the ECHO? And uh, is there a market? So, of course, every product development get, uh, makes uh, some costs and we have to consider that. So there is a question, can you explain the link to Bluetooth, uh, Zigbee, et cetera, a bit more? So the link to Bluetooth and Zigbee is, um, um, I'm not sure what the question is, but uh, the biggest difference between Bluetooth and Zigbee on the application side from an ocean perspective is we are not doing the receivers. So the receivers are not done with our chips. In that case, uh, the linking uh, to a Bluetooth or Zigbee device is completely up to the other side. So for to those who do the, uh, receivers and of course by following uh, the uh, applications uh, examples uh, to mention one example from Bluetooth is for example Kasambi so Kasambi does uh, NFC commissioning of uh, our Bluetooth variant of the switch and does link it also to the device itself yeah. so I think this is all to the questions we can answer right now because we are running out of time and i think marcus would like to mention something about the next webinar yes uh, thank you marian uh, this was a very interesting introduction and overview to the ptm family so thanks for that um, as marian was mentioning yes uh, of course uh, we already give you an insight to what will be the topic on the next webinar and here you can see it. So we scheduled the next webinar on the 26th of May, 11 a.m. Central European time. And in that occasion, we will be talking about our all new multi-sensor. And we call it an uh, Ocean's uh, Swiss knife uh, because you can measure up to diff five different uh, values, which is uh, temperature, humidity, illumination, acceleration and magnet contact. And it's of course based as well on energy harvesting. And we will guide you in our webinar into details about that. And as also as Marian was mentioned on the last page, um, we uh, have again our credentials uh, shown. And uh, if you have further questions which no, have not been answered or additional questions, then let us know. Here you find uh, Marian's uh, contact details and mine. And of course, um, as also mentioned um, at, and during our last webinar, if you have additional topics you would uh, love us to cover in one of our upcoming webinars, uh, please let us know. We, of course, uh, listen to your suggestions. Um, otherwise, uh, I thank you for your participation. Thank great uh, to have you here and we of course look forward to meet you during our next webinar. Thanks and goodbye.